Hi guys, I'm Christian Williams, Global Transformation Coach, UAE's Personal Trainer of the Year. And just this weekend, we went to the Dubai Muscle Show, the biggest bodybuilding competition in the UAE, hosting some of the best professional athletes, stores, fitness brands, all in one room, all excited to learn and interact. And this weekend, one of our CWPT team coaches, Nagenda Kamar, competed in his first bodybuilding show. And I sat down with him just yesterday. We recorded a short video of him expressing what it takes to build a champion mindset set. Some of the fears and again that had to get over and some of the methods and the coaching tools and teachings we were able to bring into his mindset so we could overcome some of the adversities. video that's going to follow, we're going to be expressing what it takes to go from where you are to where you want to be, what you have to overcome. And again, the person is going to express and open up of exactly what he felt, the fears, the doubts, and the discipline needed. So if you haven't done yet, subscribe to this channel, click on the like button, share this video, and be assured to stay tuned for more to come. Hi guys, Christian Williams here from CWPT. We're here with team coach Nagenda Komar, and he's going to be taking us through his experience on his recent and his first bodybuilding competition, the Dubai Muscle Show, what actually it took to achieve the results that he did, what are the, some of the obstacles he had to get over, and what advice he can give anybody, including yourself, who wants to maybe compete or overcome or achieve a goal. Welcome, man. Thanks, Justin, for having me. Yes. Uh, how are you feeling now a couple of days after the event? Back to normality? Yeah, I feel great, actually. Yeah, amazing. Very good, very good. So we can jump straight into it, really. What I want to know from you, and obviously we've discussed this kind of um, in depth as well, but just for our kind of viewers and people to kind of get a bit of an insight to uh, where you are, where you've been. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, how you got into training and what inspired you to do a competition, to be on stage in front of, you know, a few hundred people in a piece of string. <laughs> so why don't we get an insight of why you wanted to actually achieve, uh, compete in the beginning? Um, so to answer your first question, like, see, I've been training for a while. Um, I think probably like maybe 14 plus years. I've always been an active guy. I did a lot of uh, karate when I was much younger. Then I got into weight training after my college. And then uh, uh, it was like a conscious decision to change my life. Uh, so I, I kept at it. And at a point in my life, I felt like I wanted to help people um, uh, the same way I helped myself. And that's how I got into becoming a fitness trainer. And uh, at that point, uh, I felt like I needed a a bit more push and uh, I always had the mindset that coaches need coaches so I hired Kristen to be one of my coach and I remember we did a we did a session in person session I think uh, it was in Vinos gym I guess mm. right um, and uh, I remember you asking me like do you ever think about competing and uh, at that point I had I had like that that thought had not even crossed my mind and uh, I feel like at that point it got implanted into my mind you know and uh, uh, I think we have been with each other for almost uh, two years plus now and then uh, being with Christian uh, like looking at his attitude and the way he approached stuff you know like uh, I always consider him to be my mentor and uh, which is really uh, helped me shape myself as a coach, uh, also uh, helped me become much more disciplined in my personal life. So um, uh, I think uh, last year I decided to do a photo shoot and uh, Christian really, really pushed me hard, you know, like he was telling me like, if you want to get into the best shape of your life, like you got to do the hard stuff, you know, like uh, it's, it's, uh, it's dedication, it's, uh, it's discipline, 
and uh, not giving not giving up attitude you know like so you got to really push and uh, there were times which uh, when i i went off the rails and he would really pull me back and he's like he would ask me uh, you got this are you sure you got this and uh, it would it would it was like a wake, wake up call for me and uh, i got the got the photo shoot done it went great he was there with me for that throughout uh, i think it was a time when uh, uh, kali was having a baby and uh, it was the day before or i think it was on that day and he was still there with me for my photo shoot which <laughs> i cannot even uh, fathom anybody else doing it you know and uh, after that i went away for a while i went for a vacation came back and i told him that i want to prep for a competition and i think by that time i had actually uh, trained my mind and i had put myself into a, a very disciplined zone where i knew i could achieve this you know like i knew this was possible um so um with his support and uh, also i feel like uh, even when situations were hard like i was doing back to back sessions uh and uh, even with the 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 workouts and everything and uh, it i never felt that this was not possible and uh, i think a big big uh uh support was you obviously pushing me so just great it's great it's a great answer thank you so much for sharing that and you know you touched on a couple of things i want to dive into there for sure yeah. and just to give you a bit of an understanding you know you're a coach like you said you know mm -hmm. you work with us as a client as a coach over the years we've seen you develop and we've also been developing you mm -hmm. you mentioned about planting a seed i i believe a big part of coaching is meeting people where they are yeah. and helping people become the best version of themselves yeah. so you're always thinking a few steps ahead Yeah. You know, how can I get this person, especially if you see potential in somebody, yeah. how can I get them into the next steps and in the, into the next form of momentum mm. to ultimately lead to where they want to get to. Mm. So now you mentioned that, you know, you believe in coaching yeah. and bodybuilding is a very lonely sport at times. You know, you're on stage on your own, you're in the gym doing cardio, you're doing the workouts on your own. You know, it's mm. not a, a soccer match. It's mm. not soccer, football. Mm. My uh, my family would be shocked. shocked. By that one. <laughs> it's not a football match. Yeah. It's not a rugby match. You're on your own. You're on stage, and it's mm. very lonely and isolated. So, how important do you feel having somebody with you who understands you, that can take the pressures from off within you, can see your goals, and actually bring them to fruition? Uh, I would say it is so so important to have someone backing you because, like you said. This is a very lonely sport. Like, how many people do you meet of the same mindset? You know, around you. Like, uh, uh, it's it's very hard. And uh, uh, everybody's got a life. Like, you have things going on all the time. And uh, if there's someone with you who can who can plan for you, uh, set things up for you. and you 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 put yourself into their hands you know like uh and you you believe in them and you trust them and you know that they will take care of you i think that is the best feeling you know and it makes you feel like yeah this is possible i can get this done because you you know that someone is there to support you like it's just so important Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why people do a tandem skydive, and you go on a plane, and there's a hero stays and the pilot, right? Yeah. Because being up there on your own is a bit overwhelming. Yeah. Especially in navigation, even the pilot has a team of people all telling yeah. him which direction to go in. So, like you said, and that, you know, kind of, uh, we lead by an example, and I be mm. strongly believe as well in mm. coaching. The best and fastest way to achieve whatever you want to achieve is mm. to learn from somebody, model from somebody, get coached by somebody who has been there and done that. Mm. Especially if that person has your interest and best at heart. So yes. he's thinking about the care, mindset. You know, even if you were a, a top performing athlete mm. and you didn't have all these other things going around, mm. you still deal with a lot of psychological issues, mindsets, and and so forth. Which kind of brings me to a next question I want to ask you. Mm. So. Obviously, we talked a little bit about kind of where you were, 
why you wanted to do what you want to do. What I want to understand, and I want some of our viewers to understand as well, is kind of what were some of the obstacles, some of the barriers, some of the fears, some of the apprehensions that you went through, some of the things that would normally stop you in the past. What were they and how did you get over them? Um, one of my biggest uh, fear going into this bodybuilding was that like, I kept thinking, uh, am I good enough? And uh, there were times when I would, it would be so hard for me to sleep at night because I'm thinking, did I do the best that I could? What could I have done better? And you keep thinking about this and uh, it just, it piles on and piles on and uh, you lose sleep over it. And there've been times where it's like a nightmare. Like I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would like uh, imagine me losing the show. And, uh, and I addressed this to uh, Kristen and uh, Something that really helped me was like the advice that he gave was he he just he told me this he told me all right so before you go to bed you ask yourself is this the best that you did I mean is this the best did you do your best uh, today and most probably the answer will be yes and if the answer is yes there's nothing more that you can do so. Think about it, calm yourself and uh, go to sleep. Yeah, what more can you do? So I tried, I did, I did it for myself. And I know, I know you remember how you, you saw me for during the show, I was really calm. I was, I was, I was in a great mindset. And for me, initially, it was always like, I want to win the show, but it was not, Later on, I started thinking and the advice uh, Christian gave me and it was not it was not just about winning. It was about gaining the experience, uh, having the feel of the atmosphere, um, knowing that you have done your best. You know, that that is so much more than winning the show. So much more. So definitely helped. Yeah, it's brilliant. And, you know, if you attach your your reward mechanism, your dopamine release to a, a target that is out of your hands, I say, mm. especially in a, a very subjective sport, mm. then you're almost setting yourself up for a large percent of failure. Mm. You know, we all want to win, whether you're winning in a boardroom, whether you're winning on stage at a conference or a competition, mm. whether you're winning in a relationship, but it's the, the journey, it's the process is what's the most rewardable. Yes. Even in a meeting, let's say we conduct a meeting and it doesn't quite go, the turnout doesn't go in the direction we hope it to go. Mm. We can learn from that, we can examine it, we can dissect it, we can, we can move on to the next. Mm. And in any sport, especially like it's your first competition, yes. you know, and a lot of people, and you know, they have big expectations, they want to go off and they want to go into the profession. That's all fantastic. Yeah. We're not saying to dream small, what we say into, is set some realistic, realistic targets and just do the best you can do. Yeah. And go along with our gain of momentum. So, yeah. so that's great. I mean, we did something which um, I know it helped you. And obviously I've competed many, many times. Yeah. And, you know, after some time, it just becomes you know, autopilot. You don't think about the worries, you don't think about the stresses. Mm. But life brings different opportunities to bring the same. Yeah. You know, whether that's going into the labor room with your wife, yeah. whether that's going into a very con um, very difficult and, and conflicting meeting, yeah. whether that's speaking in on stage and actually vocaling yeah. a message, whether that's yeah. doing a presentation, and this, the same fears can come up. Yeah. So, you know, we did a very good, important tactic we got you really to visualize that calmness and yeah. the reason. So I want you to share a little bit of that experience. You know, how helpful was that? And um, how did you use that moving forward? Yeah, um, so we used to do uh, like um, posing sessions. Uh, so uh, Christian would always tell me to visualize myself standing on stage and uh, visualize how I feel uh, and uh, he would, uh, you would ask me to ground it, right? Like yeah. to, to, uh, to direct it to my 
anchor it anchor it yes exactly anchor anchor that feeling and uh, i would take like a couple of deep breaths i would visualize that and i would i would make a fist i would try to anchor that uh, feeling into place and then then we would do the posing routine and i felt so much more confident you know like and it was exactly the same the 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 feeling when i was on stage i was so confident like that was not nervous and i i feel like this 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 practice that we did it, it really helped me uh bring my a game yeah exactly what we talked about visualization you, know, you imagine like you said you were having thoughts about losing yeah. almost nightmares yeah so you know the, the mind is incredible and manifesting and if you keep thinking about these negative thoughts and like i said this could be in a competition of losing mm. this could be breaking up a marriage this could be you know going for an interview and getting turned down mm. what you're doing is you're, you're programming and you're manifesting this to come to you mm. so what we do is a lot of top athletes do and a lot of business professionals like you said you visualize the outcome that you want Mm. so intensely that you feel the emotions that come with it and then you anchor them in. Mm. The body is actually the subconscious mind. So the body just does what the body feels. Mm. It's the brain that comes with all the, the noise and the imagery. So when the body feels in this state of winning, you've already won. One. Yeah. You know, so that's fantastic. I've got one more question mm. and I know that it's going to be very beneficial for anybody who's listening. And even myself, you know, because that's what we're all doing here. We, we just mm. extracted information. So, you know, you started working out mm. just to work out, to look good. Then you decided to do a photo shoot, mm. which was a huge progression. Mm. Then you decided to do a competition. Now you're in front of an audience, which is mm. huge. And in fact, it could be a nightmare for a lot of people mm. standing on stage in front of hundred people mm. with almost next to nothing on and being judged, mm. you know, being compared. This is probably the majority of people's nightmare. Mm. Now we can relate this to any other opportunity that throws people into that fearful state. And it can be enough to make people procrastinate and not even start the journey. Yeah. So you've seen your journey progress gradually yes. into this. What advice would you give somebody who, let's say, is not quite where you are now, okay, is maybe where you used to be mm. in any area of their life, but is aspiring to be at that pinnacle mm. of that field? What advice would you give them to get them started and keep them going? Um, best advice that I can give to a person is be consistent just be consistent in what you're doing and eventually things are gonna fall into place you know like one thing is uh, uh, a lot of times when people want to like let's say if they want to lose weight and they don't see immediate results and they give up immediately but a person who sticks to the process, sticks to the program, trusts the coach, trusts the entire uh, process, they get their results. So it's about being patient, being consistent, and uh, knowing that there is a path forward. So tread, tread at your pace, but you will eventually get there. Yeah, there's a famous kind of quote that Denzel Washington says, and it's the commitment gets you started, it's the consistency that gets you finished. finished. And you see Monday morning, everybody wakes up with commitment. Yes. And then by Thursday, everybody loses the commitment. Loses the commitment, yes. So it's that consistency, that progression, them small steps forward. Yeah. And I think for a lot of people, because their goal, as we just kind of uh, rewound where you were to where you mm -hmm. got to, it can seem so far away. Yeah. I think they focus so intensely on what they want, which is fantastic, by the yeah. way. Again, visualization, but it becomes overwhelming. It's like looking at a mountain peak and thinking, oh, look how far I got to go. Exactly. But what you're saying is, you know, you, you take the steps, you keep moving forward, and eventually you'll be at Before the top. Before you know, yeah, you're there at the top, you know, so that's how it's supposed to be. Some great advice from a great man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.
I took a sip. Good. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed too. Stay tuned for more of this informative content. Hashtag bull mode.